We'll start from the beginning, Kaddish. Those who go in order. So Kaddish, we we'll start with, um, with Kiddush. Why does it sound more like Kaddish? Why would say Kaddish instead it, it of Kiddush? Sa- yeah. <laughs> it's a Kaddish, yeah. Go make Kiddush. It's a good question on Nusach. We say Kad- Kaddish, yeah, Kaddish, or Chatz, and go wash, and then the other thing is Karpas. I don't know the, the diktuk why we do it like that. Or Chatz, and then Rochza, you know. But in any case, we start with Kaddish. Uh, we spoke about last week the time, the time of the Kaddish we spoke about. We just mentioned briefly that it should be after Tzaysak Chavim, but we'll give a whole Shabbos HaGadol about it. So there's no need to repeat. It should be after uh, Tzais. Um, we spoke about the shear, how much wine should be in the uh, kais. So Kiddush is actually very interesting. Last week we spoke about all the shear and revias, whether it's 2.9, 3.3, or 5.2, Lufita Chazanish, and everything in between. But uh, so Kiddush is maybe, Kiddush it could be as Daraisa Kiddush. It's 86 grams. 86 gram, that was, that's the Rukhayim Nosh here, right? Kamini Kais, Chasdush here is Kamini Kais Hagen, which is 150 gram. Figure that out in ounces. It comes out about uh, 3 point something grams for 86, 3 point something ounces. And, yeah. So, uh, but the interesting things for Kiddush is there's, there's, a, there's a Shiloh that you'll ask. The child they ask is that uh, you make Kiddush, right? You make Kiddush, and then with the Langa Goda, you don't get to eat the matzah until an hour or so later, more. So the question is, is that considered a Kiddush Makam Suda? This is old Kasha. He said over, but Reese was here, he spoke for the boys, and he said over, they asked, he asked, they, they asked Yashiv a different question. They asked Rabbi Yashiv, uh, you should make have to make Allah Geffen. The reason why we don't make a Baruch HaChoyin on the Kais is because you make it all the way at the end. We'll see yeah. later if the, if the Benching or the, 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 the Baruch HaChoyin at the end. After all four Kais, it goes on everything. So the question is, uh, it's already 72 minutes from when you drink, you sometimes, you know, you have a long Seder. From when you drink the first Kais, so you get to start eating. So it's a Shir Ichol, you should have to make Allah Geffen. So when Yash looked at him and said, 72 minutes? Should take 20 minutes to hold Agoda. <laughs> How long does it take to read the Agoda? <laughs> yeah, but uh, in any case, uh, it does take longer. So, um, so some people, Rav uh, Feinstein brings down, I think, in his Agoda, I believe that if you drink, just like Kiddush Barakam Sudi, if you with grape juice, so if you drink uh, extra revias, if you drink an extra revias, you yotz with that. So, some people will drink by the Kiddush. Make sure well, if you have. Uh, if you have a five ounce kais, you drink it all up, you got two revias and mm. you know you got uh revias to rice, so for this is good enough for the smaller share. So you get to share. Some people do that. But again it's only a chumra. Why don't you have to do it in twenty two minutes? Explain it Because you use it, it's it's too long afterwards. It's, have sex. it's too long after you're drinking till uh till uh till you till you till you make our gaffin is all the way at the end. Till it's not a Kiddish Mokam Suda. But what is the advantage of drinking more? Because yeah. you're drinking, drinking yeah, yes. grape juice is, could be a suda itself. Uh, but you have the second, the third, the fourth coast, so you're drinking the, all along. Until you get to the second coast. No, no, Until you get to the second coast. So it's like a second shmokam suda. This is an old Shiloh, and, uh, you know. So, so, you're, my, so, so you're sipping wine during the, between the first no, and the second? No, you're not sipping. You're just, when you drink the coast, you just drink an a, a extra, extra revias. So that's your first revias is the Kiddush, the second revias is your suda. The scope down. And you're doing it all at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but this is a chumra, and you know, we don't have to change what uh, the minig is, and you could just do it the regular way, and like for kasha, start minished, you know, so you have a kasha, so they'll figure out the, all the uh, your children on the side they'll figure out all the answers. <laughs> but uh, the other question is, it's important to know, we have this amachoikis, if you could drink between the first two kaisas. Chava says you can't drink between the uh, between the first two crises you can drink between the between the second after the second crisis for sure you can drink that's right. right. between the third and fourth crisis we can't drink but the Ramah says we're well, no, not to drink between the first crisis also it's near a of our crisis so this is relevant let's say we know that Allah says you have to be a saber you have to drink when you're leaning now a lot of times people forget to lean we're not used to leaning or you lean on the wrong side you know 
You let him go away. You know, you got to land on the left side. So landing on the right side is not called the Seba. For a righty, for sure. The lefty is a Suffolk. For a righty on the right side is not called the Seba. Even a lefty should even a lefty should lean on his left side. But if he leaned on his right side, it could be the evidence of a It could be his well, answer. Why is one side over the other? Like what's because the uh, food goes down and the, the, uh, it gets closed up. One side to breathing, one side to breathing. Yeah. But, um, so a person should lean when he drinks. Now, we hold, if you have to bring a Shabur here, but we hold that, um, that, uh, that, 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 no, we hold the woman, it is Machlik is the men and the woman, how we pass them here. The, 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 the woman is who they have to lean. So a woman, Chashuvais, the woman in the times of the Gemara didn't have to lean. They didn't lean, because they were like, Kofuf to the Baal. So for the more Bali, not to lean, it's like an Evan Bufnei Rabbi. So a woman didn't lead. That's why the, 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 the Spartan. But the, the Ashkenazim, the more says that Noshim Chashuva is saying. So therefore, they have their own, their own, uh, you know, being. So they, they could, the Chashim, like a woman Chashim could lean. So therefore, the woman could lean. The woman do lean. Um... The question is, Rav Yos Paskins, the Rav Yos Paskins, that, uh, that today, that since we don't lean for anything, leaning means you have a nice recliner and you lie down, it doesn't mean you go like this. You lean, you have, you have, a, you have a, a, a nice bed, the way they did in Bovel and they ate. So today, who eats like that? So it's not their Chayr, so Rav Yos held that there's no Chayr Haseba today. For Kert, that's not, that's, not, uh, that's not the way to drink. But Maisa, we're not to, to, to do Beseba. But women were so much on the Rav Yah. Why women decided to pass like the Rav Yah? So I listen, but the women were so much on the Rav Yah, and the women don't, don't have to drink. So different men hug him. Some men hug him, the women do do a saber, and some men hug him, the women don't. And they're so much on this Rav Yah. What's relevant for us today, I think most women try to do lean, but what's relevant for us if someone forgot to do a saber, forgot. So the halacha is, Medina the Gemara, then I'm loy hase of loy yotza. Now, there's actually Bachoik is what that means. The rush holds you're not yotze, you have to drink again. And if you eat matzah below your saber, you have to eat again. Mm. You want yotze. Really? You gotta do it again. Without a, hold like that for Without a bracha. Hold on. So, uh, uh, technically, you should have to make a bracha. The Rambam holds lo yotze, it doesn't mean you want yotze, your matzah, your kais, it means you want yotze, your dinner saber. In the Rambam, you won't have to make a bracha. But frat lafiyas, that we hold, that we chosh for Rav Yoshita, the Rav Yosh holds that. Um, that we, you don't have to lean today, Bechlal, so for sure you don't make another bracha when you lean, but you, the question is, do I drink again at all? I drank the first kais, and then I remembered, oh, I forgot to do a seba. So do I have to drink again? According to Rav Yahweh's Yaitza, I don't have to lean. According to the other Rishonim, I have to drink again leaning without a bracha. So the thing is like this. Technically, okay, big deal, drink again. Take another Revias, and, and then drink. So you're not allowed to drink between. Oh, the Shailas, are you allowed to drink between the kaisas? So if you're after the second kais, no problem. Drink again. Drink again on lean. After the first kais, we have a little more of a problem because we hold, we don't, according to Minagashkanas, we don't drink between the first kais and the second kais. But if he wasn't yaitzah, he has to drink. Like he didn't drink. So if he wasn't yaitzah, he has to do it. But the shaila is, it was yaitzah. Yeah, and, and if you have yaitzah, you were yaitzah. And, and according to the Ramah, according to the Machaber, Mikra didn't be the whole like the Ramah. But according to the Ramah, the Ashkenazim, Mikra didn't be the whole like the Ramah. Everything turns out water and this type of thing. You, you, you can't drink anything. Wine, wine. Or just wine. Wine. Water, person. What does the Ramah do with Manishtana? He has no dinner for Seifa today. One of the questions. One of the Masubas. The Masubas means Derech Harris. Today, our sitting is like Masubas. I'll explain to you at a moment. Yeah, hang in there. So I go put him, so the so so the what you do, so the truth is you talk I have a problem. And it's best not to do it again, not to drink again with leaning. If you're ready afterwards, the only thing is if it's if you drank, let's say you drank part of your kais, and then you remembered so you could be mice if you could continue drinking leaning. As long as it's one kais, maybe you could even add into the kais a little bit while you're drinking. And as long as it's considered one kais, you could still do the leaning. So if you remembered quick enough by Kiddush, so then you could you could lean. If you didn't remember until later, then uh, you have a little bit of a problem. So because we're not moist for being a crisis. But that that's later. What happens if you drink and you, right after you drink you go, whoops, what what then? Yeah. You continue drinking. If you're still having your kais, if you're still having your kais, you can continue drinking because 
But that doesn't look like an added kais. That looks like the same kais. Now, you are asking this very important point. Even though we pass like to have your maybe that there's no Aseba today, but it could be, it's very mistaver, and the place can bring down, that uh, there's still a dinner Aseba. Just, Aseba doesn't mean lying down, because who lies down when they eat? So Aseba will mean sitting down. So if someone stands, he's not Yotzer. If someone stands when he drinks, he should drink again. He's not Yotzer. If someone stands when he eats the matzah, he shouldn't stand up, he should sit down, for sure. Sometimes, you know, the women or some you know, the Sim, they're, they're standing and serving and they're taking care of the kids. They get up for a minute, you shouldn't stand up because that's for sure not a saber. Mm-hmm. Why do you need a saber? Just to have your holes that sitting down today the way we sit normally is a saber. So, Mama's standing, eating matzah, you wouldn't be outside. It would be outside. You'd have to eat more matzah. you have to eat more matzah. So, you should sit down and eat the matzah. Mm-hmm. And you should lean. I mean, we hold the chatechila, we do the other rishon, you should lean. But if you forgot to lean, you know, it's a halbut it could be here anyways. But if you stood, you am sure you can. The mice, uh, we'll get to the matzah, we'll see, you know, what you should do. If but but the, the leaning, so I want to ask before the wide the left, so that was okay because of the windpipe, whatever. But, but what's the purpose of leaning altogether? Why is it so important? Because they're cheres. That's, the, that's, the, that's how they did the, the, the rishmi. And there's another reason to the left, if you, especially if you're righty, you with your right hand, if you lean on your left side, it's hard to eat. That's the problem with the lefty. Your lefty leans on his left side, and he can't eat because he eats with his left hand. So it's a shy which way you should lean. The mice, if you hold, you lean on the left side, but for, uh, it's another reason, because you can't eat on the thing. The mice, how do you lean today? So it's a problem. Stop to lean on your hand is, is, is near it. Looks like you're all worried, and uh, you know. So that's not, that's not, okay, so let's put that in Allah. Person shouldn't lean like this. If he has a chair like this, you know, you can lean over against the chair. But the best thing is, you know, you get a nice recliner <laughs> and you lie down. <laughs> or, uh, huh? That sounds like a plan. <laughs> yeah. you, got, you should lean on something. You shouldn't just go like this without leaning on anything. That's not really a saber either. It's an exercise. Yeah, that's an exercise. <laughs> holding yourself up. You should lean on something. You can lean on the table like this. But don't lean like this, you know, it's, it's near, uh, uh, it's like a sats, it looks like he's, he's depressed. You can lean against something, put something on the other side. If you have an armchair, you can lean against yeah, that. But that's the, um, uh, that's the mitzvah saber. It's okay, it looks good, yeah. We always try to get some kind of recliner, but it's hard to use because the table's high up and you're down on the floor, you know. <laughs> it's hard to, uh, to <laughs> use. Especially if you're not used to it. In those days, they were used to it anyway. Some people turn the chairs sideways. And then we know. Yeah, try to lean against the side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pillows, um, pillows, also in the car, supposed to have pillows. He used, used to sit on the ground and have pillows to hold them yeah. up. Soft. Oh. There are malchus. And lower tables, too. Yeah. Um, Orchats. Now, Orchats is an interesting one. <coughs> Because Orchatz, uh, we don't really do this today, wash on vegetables. So let's just back it up a little bit to uh, to uh, see what, what are we doing, why are we washing on vegetables. It's important to understand it because there could be some uh, differences and nuances in halacha. We wash, we wash on bread. We wash on bread because when they ate truma, when they ate truma, the hands, your daim are sheni. You die in, because since you move it around, you don't, you're not even thinking when you touch something. Chazal Musakin that your hands are tummy or tumba sheni. Okay, your hands are tummy or tumba sheni, and you, it's, a, it's an interesting concept because normally a person's whole body has to be tummy. You don't find part of your body is tummy. If you touch a, 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 a novella, you touch a dead, a dead person, so your whole body becomes tummy, your hands become tummy. But Chazal made, because the person's hands are busy, they made a uh, gazera, like uh, Yud Chazdava. One of the Yud Chazdava is that your hands are shiny. Your hands become too much shiny. Now, so what if your hands are shiny? Shiny touches a food, so if it's chulin, a chulin doesn't become a shlishi. If your hand touches your bread in the fr- fr- refrigerator, it doesn't become tummy. But if your hand touches truma, truma becomes tummy. Because truma can become a shlishi. So Chazal or Geyser, that um, that uh, that all 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 any time we eat bread, any time we eat bread, to be uh, so, so uh, because of our chuma, we go to that we wash our hands. When you wash your hands, your your hands become tummy. Fine, very nice. Pikurim, chuma. Would it happen with pikurim if you broke pikurim? Right. Yeah, 
Right. Uh, yeah. So vegetables could be, fruit could be. Coming. Yeah, but they weren't guys on that. The thing is like this: when you with tibuli mashka, your hands are shiny, but if they touch water, the water becomes a rishon. And then your water touches the vegetable, the vegetable can become tummy. So um, we're not, we're not, uh, we're not, so uh, shy today, if you wash your hands when you touch uh, wet vegetables, if you wash your hands, merci kiyura, today we don't do it, we don't, we don't wash it, it's not, some entire is not so relevant for us today. You know, when you're running some mikdash, we'll have to be very mock, but on two and that if you want to touch a wet vegetable, you have to make sure you wash your hands first. But today, it's not so relevant to Montyrus, and uh, we don't, we don't, generally speaking, most people don't wash their hands, and if you do do it, it's a shtick of Merci Kiyura, we don't do it. But, on Seder the night, we, we do this chumrah, a lot of reasons being down why we do it, Pukkach on Seder the night, but Seder the night we do this chumrah, because if your hands are shady, and it touches the, uh, maybe one reason is because we used to eat the covered Pesach. You know, today we don't have the current Pesach, but we make believe we're doing a Seder with the current Pesach. One of the Kazesim and Afikam is the current Pesach. And anything that's to do with Kachim, you have to make sure you tar. So whatever the reason is, we try to keep Toma and Tyre, so therefore you wash your hands before you touch the thing and touch the Kazes. Now, here's the catch. The catch is, we don't make a brach on this tequila today. We don't make a brach on it, you wash your hands. Or a chatz, you know, the kids say, we wash hands without a bracha. We don't make a bracha. But, uh, and, 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 and also we eat less than a kazais. We eat less than a kazais of karpas. I know different reasons given, but one of the reasons is because you have a problem with the bracha achroina. Hey, you can't make a bracha achroina on it because you might see the mora and you have a shayla later, so you eat less than a kazais. Now, in technically... Some, in some Haggadahs, uh, one of the art school Haggadahs, it's, it says there's an option that only the person conducting the Seder. You're right. There washes. is such an option. Because the whole purpose of the Kaipas is that Kadesh uh, Yishul or Tinoikas, the children should ask the question. So as long as a person conducting the Seder does the Kaipas, the children will ask. There is such a thing. It's a different Manhagen. It's a different Manhagen if just the guy who's running the Seder does it or everybody does it. Um, could be everybody should be running the Seder. We'll see. We'll get to that. But, uh, but uh, yes, that's the that's point. So you eat less than the kazayas. Now the catch is over here. If you eat less than the kazayas, then the kuliyam will hold and you wash your hands, you don't make a bracha. But let's say, which happens quite often, somebody washes his hands and he's used to it. When he washes his hands, he makes a bracha. So the guy washed his hands and he made a bracha. So what does he do? So Rebbe Vice Ephraim speaks about this. And he says you should eat a kazayas then. Because since the kuliyama, if you eat less than a kazayas, you don't make a bracha on the carpus. So therefore, if you washed your hands over here, and you made a bracha by accident, <coughs> and she did a bigger shear carpus, so she did a kazayas, this is machayv you in the natila, at least according to some paiskim, <coughs> it shouldn't be a bracha of atala. When they did wash for this, they did make a bracha? In the days when they were when they had a chiv natula, they would make a bracha. When there's a chiv natula, they make a bracha. On a wet fish? Yeah. But there's no chiv natula, there's no, you don't make a bracha. So it's we eat less than a kazayis, there's for sure no chiv natula. So you don't make a bracha. But if a guy made a bracha by accident, he should. Um, so are there implications then, because he now he's eating a kazayis, that he's going to have to do bracha chorona at some point? So you have a problem with bracha but anyways, we hold like the Rambam that even if you eat a kazayis, you don't make a bracha chorona because you're, you're saying macham later, you did. So we shine them. So if a guy ate a kazayas, he doesn't make a bracha choin anyways. Just try to eat less than a kazayas to get out of the suffolk. But if a guy washed his hands, and also, you know, if he washes his hands, um, he should, uh, before he washes his hands, the next time before Hamaytzi Matzah, you know, he should scratch his head or something, you know, make his hands tummy. Because he, once he did his natila with a bracha, so you know you, you don't want to make another natila with another bracha. So, you know, make your hands a tummy. So that, that's that's orchats. You know all these things have reasons why we do it, but we're sticking to the to the You can orchat. intentionally make yourself tummy in some part of your body. Yeah. yeah. Scratch under your keeper. Yeah. If a guy uses the, no, the washroom, a, guy uses the washroom and washes his hand and makes ashiyatsa, and now he wants to wash the bed. He should, you know, make himself tummy. Yeah. So this way he has a chiv natil again, because he just washed his hands when he came out and washed him. Um, karpas, 
Okay, we discussed Karpas, we shall less than the Kazayas. There's different Menhagen what to use for Karpas. Now, some people eat uh, with a fork. I feel what we're saying now, that the reason why you're washing your hands is so when you touch it, you touch the water and it touches the thing, you should really eat with your hands, you know. The Dar Hasidim, with your hands, eat with a fork. Okay, you can eat with a fork anyways, but I'm just saying that uh, so this is the reason why you're doing it is because, anyways, you're not making a bracha on it. So. The reason why you're doing it is because you're, uh, you're touching it. Um, try to make something which you make a dumb on, because we want to be mighty the more. There are some things, right? Hagam is a shayla what broch you make on horseradish. Horseradish technically you make a shakal. Depends what you have for your mar. Right? It's horseradish. Um, who eats horseradish raw? Plain. Yeah, we, we do it to Seder. At the Seder, yeah. <laughs> but but the chayr, if, it's, if you, eat, you go in the middle of the weekday, you want to just have some uh, horseradish. Uh, it's not a derech tira raw. You would make a shakal on it. But the uh, chazeres. You can make a hadam on, but uh, so uh, yeah. Uh, interesting. Uh, well, of this, since tomorrow, supposedly. Uh, what is the difference between chazeres and 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 what's the matter? We're gonna get to we get tomorrow. We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, so for kapodim, so then you make a bracha hadam on on karpus to be might see the. Um, what happens if the interval between the uh, karpus and mirror is more than something? Yeah, okay, that's the old Shiloh. Same old Shiloh. Same problem. But, uh, you make another work, uh, huh? You make another work, right? No, I don't. We don't make it. Even if you did, let's say, even if he had a shahakal for carpus, he had a shahakal, some, 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 uh, shahakal, if you had a shahakal for carpus, you still don't make a, uh, Adam again for Mara. But you're making you know, for Mara. It's Mara. We do this all just to get out of the Svekas. But you're making for Mara Bracha anyway, Achilles Mara. Achilles Mara. That's one of the reasons you don't make Adam, because you don't want to have two brachas. Mm-hmm. By matzah, we have two matzahs, so you make a moitzi on, on one matzah, and uh, mm-hmm. essentially we call it moitzi matzah, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, the whole say that we say, karash rochas, karpas yachas. By matzah, we give it two names, moitzi matzah. Mm-hmm. The reason is because there's two matzahs. One is the moitzi matzah, and one is the matzah matzah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you, you, don't, you try not to make two brachas, according to, to mm-hmm. some Rishonim, you try not to make two brachas. So then why do thing. you keep the mora in mind if you're going to make a bra- achilas mora? Because achilas mora is not bari piyadam. There's two brachas. There's a bari piyadam, and then there's for the mitzvah. There's brachas ha and then there's when we, ha when, when we make a mozi on wine, we don't do uh, eights as well. When you make a... I mean, Oh, why? We do pre-gaffin. We know that's we a bruch hasanen. That's a bruch hasanen. That's not a bruch hasan mitzvah. It's a bruch hasanen on the wine. This is a bruch hasan mitzvah. Is 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 uh, is al chilus mar, but it's not a bruch hasanen. So you have to make a bruch hasanen. Bruch hasanen. Hasanen. You know, anytime right. you eat mazonis, you make a mazonis. So then whenever you eat, right. you make a bruch hasanen on the mitzvahs before you shake a lulav. You say al matilas lulav. That's a bruch hasan mitzvah. So al chilus mar is a bruch hasan mitzvah. It's not a bruch hasanen. It's before you do a mitzvah, and 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 and. Uh, the boy piyadam is a bracha sanen, but still we try not to make two brachas on one thing, so you, you make the bracha earlier. It's a shy what we do. Akapon, all these things are just to get out of svekas. But make a did if you made a shakal here or a is a shakal, you don't make a bracha anyways. And uh, so, so that's the uh, karpas. So you have in mind to, to you have in mind to uh, be moitzi the mar when you make a bracha and you dip it in. The different menhagim, what you use, you know, karpas technically means celery, like we had a Rashi in Avay Dezara, those who come to Avay Dezara in the morning, karpas is celery, uh, but there are different menhagim, some people use, uh, some people use potatoes, the problem with potatoes is you have to eat it cooked, and, and technically the karpas is supposed to be raw, but a couple of them, whatever the minig is, you keep your minig, keep your minig, the minig is important, but, um, It'd be a different bracha on a raw potato. Raw potatoes, shakal. You know, raw potatoes, raw potatoes. Yeah, yeah. Some people, uh, it's shakal. What you dip it into the, the prevalent minig is to dip it into salt water. <laughs> so we'll stick with that. Rashi says dip it into charoises, but uh, we dip it into salt water. Why salt water? For the tears, uh, for the tears. Rashi says to dip it into charoises. It's the Rashi's charoises. Shalz, you don't need the charoises before we do it tomorrow. Shalz, a mitzvah of this. But try to argue some Rashi. Well, my say, I think the most, there are other minhagim, so if someone has a different minhag, you shouldn't say, hey, where did that come from? So every minhag has a makar. 
But uh, I think the most prevalent minute is to dip it into salt water. So we'll leave it at that. Um, Do we know where the first Haggadah was? When, when that was, where that was, the first Haggadah? Who wrote the, that's a Shaiba, who wrote the, the Magad? Who wrote the Haggadah? I mean, some, some of it's in the Mishnah, right? Yes, uh, well, it's taken it from the Mishnah, but the Shaiba's who actually wrote it, yeah. 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 Just going back to Kiddush for a moment, it's a shikha relevant. The question is, who who makes the Kiddush? Does the Palabas make it, everybody listen? Or does everybody make their own Kiddush? I just forgot to mention, let's go back to Kiddush. So who does it? So it's different in Hagim, actually, and each one has a source. But we know that in the Dalit Kaisis, there are two aspects to the mitzvah. One aspect is the bracha we make, and one aspect is the actual drinking of the kais. And even though the Toysvis holds that I can make Kiddush and drink my kais and nobody else has to drink, that's Toysvis Shita in the beginning of Avri Sachem. But the Rambam argues and Rambam holds everybody has to drink, and that's how everybody goes. But nonetheless, uh, it could be, you can have a kais, I'll make the bracha, you'll be yoytze the bracha, and then you'll drink your kais. It's not like Kiddush, where I make the bracha, I'll kais, and I drink. But here, I can make the bracha, and everybody else could drink. So, um, so that's a valid minute, where everybody can make their own Kiddush, depending on how much time you have. They can make it, everybody can make it together. It's a shah of the noshim. The women make their own Kiddush, or they yoytze. They live in Menhagim, each one works. But everybody should drink their own kais. Either they should be moitim with my bracha, and they drink, or they can make their own bracha, and drink. And the same thing is with everything. By 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 the carpus also, it's a shail of, uh, you know, usually by 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 other brachas, everybody should make their own brach. It's only by kiddush we do bray vam, but every brachas, you know, on vegetables and this, usually everybody makes their own. But there are some that the Baal bus makes for everyone, especially if not everybody is the day safe and knows how to make the brachas, you can make it for them. So the Kiddush is the first cut, is the first first kais. Kiddush is the first kais. Those Dalit kaisis involve uh, uh, Hana, their birchas hanenim. So how can they be yotze with his birchas hanenim? Because they're yotze with the mitzvah, the Kiddush, and it yeah. involves it. It involves it. You can it, make it, a baruch It, it, it on brings that. in yeah. the baruch baruch yeah. birchas yeah. hanenim, and, and yeah. you're yotze with it because of the Kiddush. Right. And it's interesting that the minag Ashkenaz is to make a baruch baruch on every single kais. Even though normally you drink a cup of wine, then you want to drink the next cup, you don't make another bracha by the mm-hmm. But our minute is that we make a bracha on every kais, because um, since it's a chiv mitzvah, a mitzvah is machayv you another by the agafan. Kolecha and the rif is kolecha and mitzvah for the atzmai. That's Machayv and other bracha. So it's not it's not better for each person to make at least their bori pre No, we don't, we don't do that. Right. If one person is making the kiddush, oh, oh. so then he makes everybody just listens oh. and, and drinks. If they want to make the whole thing, they can make the whole uh, oh, kiddush. Oh, but not yeah. just the bori pre Yeah, but Hasidim maybe they split it. I don't know kiddush. But that's, uh, that's you know, the one person makes it, or everybody can make it uh, together. Yachatz. We break the middle matzah, right? The big half goes for tzofen, goes for nafikom, and the small half stays in the, in the thing. Uh, sometimes, it happened to me last year, I got a whole box, I got who knows how much matzah, and they were all broken. <laughs> I couldn't find a shleimah. Wow. Wow. You know, I shouldn't really speak about it. Okay, I don't have so much time. But anyways, uh, I couldn't find a shleimah. So the shail is, let's say you only have two shleimahs, and you have one broken one. Could I set it up in the You know, I put the two shamans, I put the broken one in the middle. Although I have to break it. Well, we see yachats, you know, you break it in the middle of the same. Pretty broken. Crazy glue. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, if you have no choice, you have no choice. But the, you're not really supposed to put the broken piece in. It's better to put the whole piece in the middle than break it by yachats to break it in the, in the, in the, in the middle. The going held anyways that uh, all you need is two matzahs. And if someone doesn't have enough matzahs, the truth is like this. The truth is that really every adult in the Seder should have his own two or three matzahs. And I know it's expensive, but um, the whole shail is why we ha- why do we eat, we'll go to matzah for a moment, we eat two kazesim. We eat five kazesim of matzah. We eat two in the beginning of the Seder, two by by, by Moitzi Matzah, then we do one by Kairach, and then we need another two by Afi Kairach. So Kairach and Afi Kairach will leave for now, but the two that we eat in the beginning, why do we eat two Kazaisim? The Chiv to eat Matzah is one Kazaisim of Matzah. Now we know this is hard to eat a Kazaisim, you have to eat a Techel as Pras, and leave it and chew it and eat it at once, it becomes a whole Asik. Two Kazaisim, why do we have to eat two Kazaisim for? So the Bialocha talks about it, he says, the, the, the Makar for this is very, very weak. It's a tour in a rush, but why do we have two kazesim? So there are two reasons given. 
either A, because we don't know which is your real matzah. So my colleagues are showing if the first matzah, the top matzah is the one you're supposed to be yotzi achiv, or the middle matzah. So therefore we want to eat a kazais from each one. That's one reason. Most we've shown them the whole that reason. The other reason is because one is for the hamoitzi lechem and aretz, and one is for the matzah. So from the top one you made a birchas hamoitzi, so you want to eat a kazais from the birchas hamoitzi, and then the second one is for the, from the birchas achilas matzah, you want to eat a kazais from the achilas matzah. There are questions on that reason either, I'm not going to get into that, but the bottom line being that only applies the chari to the person who's running the seder. If I'm not eating from this matzah anyways, you know, how many kazaisim can you get out of one matzah? You give to your wife, you give to your kids. I mean, you're not eating kazaisim from any of them anyways. You're just going to take from the box. And he took kazaisim from the box. There's absolutely no svar in that. Why should he took kazaisim from the box? So, chayr, anyone who's getting from the box should only eat, uh, only has to eat one kazais. So, it's up to be kivega and shulchan aruch. And hagam, there's a, the minig says, you know, minigs we two kazaisim, but if one finds it difficult, uh, he's, he doesn't have to be machmer, he could just see one kazais. The Ikka dynasty, one kazais. Two kazaisim is just for the moitzi and for the matzah. Uh, we eat two kazaisim. So it's only relevant for the person that has it, it's not relevant for everybody else. But nonetheless, there is an Indian. You make a bracha, moitzi lechem and aretz, and you break from the matzah, and you break from the. Uh, do it. And uh, any person that's. Uh, every adult should really have his own his own matzah to be able to do it. He should have his own moitzi, and he should have his own matzah. And he should be able to do the mitzvah ketikuna properly. Um, he doesn't have to have the third matzah, he doesn't have to have, you know, the, the one who's running the same could have the third one, but if you don't have enough shlemus, he could uh, get, get away with two, it looks a little funny, you know. <laughs> you know but uh, the third matzah is, is, is for the, uh, the kairach, you could take any matzah from the box for that. You know, it's could they to have shlemus, could they to have two shlemus. Uh, that for, would be the bottom uh, matzah. The bottom matzah, to have shlemus, the going holds you don't need, you can use a prusa, and you shouldn't like that. So if you don't have enough matzahs, you can do that. But upon him, there's an Indian for each person to have. Each person that's the adult that's making a thing should have a, should He has to have a kazayis anyway, so he should really have his own. He should do the moitzi and the matzah, because from your matzah, he's not going to get a kazayis. So if you only have one that's, that is shame, perfect, that should be the middle matzah? No, no, no. Should be the top? If you only have one, then it should be the top. So I, I understand that different different matzahs are manufactured different ways. So a kazayas actually could change depending on the matzah. Yeah. Kazayas could change, and we spoke last week that there's no reason to be machmer on the kazayim. The kazayim, you know, the charts they have here is, is from the Moshe, from the David. I think they shrunk it a little bit. The original charts were a little bigger, but you know, the old placemats were a bit bigger. Yeah, I think the uh, photocopy made it a little smaller. Reduced. <laughs> Reduced. <laughs> but uh, but a person don't have to <laughs> macho a hand. One hand is a, is a, is a, is a diver yeah. hoister. There's enough, you know, hand on it goes around. It's big enough. If each person uh, should have his own matzah, should he also have his own kara? The kara could go for everybody because it's a plate in the middle. The truth is that the person takes the carpus, he should take it from the kara if there's enough. If you take at least the person running the seder should take the carpus from the Kairi should take the mora from the Kairi a little bit of it. You can't get a kazai there. Because it's not beam at the Kairi. Yeah, yeah, the Kairi is where it's supposed to be. You know, so, you know, so you can take from there. It's not enough, so you take more from uh, the other places. Um, so, anyway, so you break the middle matzo. First, should really check the matzos before. before uh, I don't really know if you have to check it today. You're supposed to check for kfulois and for nafuchais. Any matzah, especially the, the hand-baked matzahs, um, a lot of times you get bubbles in them, bubbles in them, or you get folds in them. So the shayla is, if you get folds in them, so maybe it didn't bake well in between the fold, or the bubbles in, inside, maybe it didn't bake well. Or this. The truth is, today's nafuchais are not really shaylas. I mean, the nerve wracking when you have a matzah full of nafuchas, but ikra din, there's no shail on it because the reason why it blows up is because it's such intense heat that you stick it in, it just pops up. But really, it gets fully baked inside. It's not called a nafuch. A nafuch is if there's a thick bubble, a very thick bubble on both sides, that could be a shaila. But most of the nafuchas today are just from the heat. But the kfulis, you have to be careful on. If they fold over, you should break it off and, and, and get rid of it because it's. Um, so Shiloh Muhammad. If it's kafal, sometimes you see it was flattened out. That's not really a kfula because it was 
it was done before they baked it. You know, they flattened it out like that. But if it happened afterwards, that could be, that sometimes happens on the matzahs. So you have to be careful for you that. Have, what do you do with the piece you broke off? Throw do you have to destroy it? Or no, no, can just you throw it out. Just throw it out? It's all it's not You're doing it for Pesach anyway. Right. Just doing it before Pesach, you know. Should do it before, but you know, sometimes no, it's hard to do it before. You find it on Pesach, yeah. Today is not so many there. You know, they say you're supposed to check your matzahs before, but there's not so many chashashas today that, uh, you know, usually they come with a hersha, they were checked officially. You know, I don't know. They were checked, so you know, you don't have to really, uh... So Magid, where are we up to? It's Magid. Magid is, uh, you say that God is a din vigada to levincha. You know, today it comes kapaya. The kids are telling all the, the, the story, all the uh, the vaytores to the father. But the chiv is the father should tell the kid, even if the child is tell mukhacham, the father should still be the one to say it. That's the mitzvah regarding to levincha. The father should be the one saying, saying the Haggadah to the kid. All the divaytore can wait for the shulchan aruch. The kid was to say the Haggadah and to say the the secret you see is to say the story that comes out. It's interesting. The targum on the higarata is the techvi. You should show. Which means you should enact it, act it out. That's what the Tatsa Tatsa of Maris. You should act out, you're going out of Mitzrayim. You know, it shouldn't be just uh, dry saying it. Started, yeah, they to go around with tomatoes on the back, oh. walk around, they show this is how they went out of Mitzrayim, you know. The person should try to act it out to make it lively. They said the Chavetz Chaim used to say over the Esamakis, he would have the people laughing. He would act it out, and people would be laughing at the table. You know, I try to act out at the Tadmakis. By the time you get to the Esamakis, you know, everybody's. Knocked out, they just do dams for their kid him. But a person should, uh, you know, especially the kids, they try to get them into to understanding it. That's the mitzvah of CPC There are two halves. Do it, it as crocodiles. There's the CPC Svitzrayim itself, which is the beginning part. The dro- you know, all the drush of the Svitzrayim. But then there's the hollow, which is the second part. The hollow is the shvach. That's also part of CPC Svitzrayim. How we do that? Um, okay, well, we'll move on. It's a bit late. Um, if you like, I'm going to say it. What? If you like, I'm going to say it at this point. Hungry? No, no, it's late. We'll move on. It's late. So, you have markets. We make the brach on the kaisa shagolanu. There's all Shiloh for you, if you can. There's also, it's interesting, you know, really, it's split in Allah, you're not supposed to be Messiah to Vechulin in the middle of the Haggadah. Once you start the Haggadah, you start Avodah Mayinu, until you get to, to Gal Yisrael, the person shouldn't schmooze about other things. You're not supposed to be Messiah Das. It's supposed to be said Haggadah, but aim of you, you shouldn't be schmoozing about other things. That's uh, still Haggadah, especially once you start the, the Halal at the end, you know, that you're doing Allah Kais, you pick up the Kais, it's not like a Broch on the Kais. You shouldn't, you shouldn't really uh, talk. Um, that's that's uh, uh, that's that's Magad and drink the second kais again. Bear saber. So we did. Uh, then there's Rachta. You wash your hands. Everybody knows how to wash their hands. Mighty <coughs> matzah. So that we said. So you have three. If there's machlokes, two or three, but we, most people use three matzahs. We break the middle matzah. And again, so you have a kazais from the top matzah and a kazais from the middle matzah. Um, there should be enough to give to you and your wife, you know, especially you, the middle one, even though it's the smaller you put, half. You put the third matzah down between what's the end. Yeah, you make a bracha moitzi lechem on three matzahs, because you have the lechem is the top and the bottom. Then you drop the second one, then you make achilas matzah. It's a machloikis, again, if the achilas matzah goes on the top one or the bottom one, according to most we shine in the middle one, according to most we shine them, the bracha goes on the middle matzah. Now that machilas matzah, and then you uh, you take a piece of the top matzah, you take a piece of the middle matzah, because ice from the top, because ice from the middle, and you eat it. A person should eat it within four minutes. Chachil within two minutes, but be the within four minutes. It shouldn't be stretched out four minutes, but he only has to eat a kazais within four minutes. Uh, he doesn't have to eat a whole matzah within four minutes. <laughs> There's no chiv to do that. Just simply the kazais and behaseba. If he forgot to be massive, uh, he should eat more. He should eat another kazai's bear saber, because there's no issue to eat more matzah. He can eat as much matzah as he wants in the night. And then uh, he should do it again, because according to the Rishonim, they're not yotzer, even though it could be a yotzer we mentioned before, but a person should eat it again, bear saber. 
person. He took his ice in. Took his ice Does he have eight minutes to do it? She will do it in four minutes. Just first two kazaisim. She'll do it in four minutes. If you can't. Uh, but you said he has to eat one kazais in four minutes. Yeah, but the truth is, one kazais daraisa is the same size as two kazaisim to our bottom. So, as we spoke about last week, so technically you should eat the two kazaisim, which is one kazais daraisa with him. The, um, one kazais. Daraisas. Koifel magzaisim. So, one kazais daraisa, the daraisa shear, is the same size as two kazaisim to our bottom. So, uh, uh, two kazaisim, want to get two kazaisim. <laughs> Uh, as we spoke about last week, the different shirim. So uh, again, if you eat a third of a of, of a mish, of a hand of a hand matzah, it's 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 more than enough. Uh, a third of a of a hand matzah usually, different size hand matzahs, but that's more than enough for two kazesim. Um, machine matzah, half of it is more than enough for two kazesim. Machine matzahs. The so shav uses machine matzahs. Is another shav with the shema. But that's uh, beyond the scope of this discussion here. Um, but uh, whatever the minute is, you do. Again, you follow your minute because uh, every minute has its source and it's all based on halacha. The, um, what we say now, so, so that's what we matzah. Huh? Oh, so then you have the kairach. So a person really shouldn't speak between the mighty matzah, then you have mara, then you make a brach al chilas mara. A mara also you should eat kazais of mara. It's very hard to measure kazais of mara because every vegetable is different. But um, again, a mara is only a chiv drabonim, so you don't need to. Uh, you can have a smaller share kazais. Whatever you get is good. You know, if a kid can't eat or an older person cannot eat a kazais, they can still make a bracha on less than a kazais. They give them less if an older person can't eat. You know. So how many leaves of romaine lettuce is that equal? The leaves could be huge. Different sizes. Depends on the sizes. But the, the leaves are very thin. So you get two big ones, it should be a kazais. Two very big ones should be a kazais. You know. Don't need four or three. Four stalks. If you have four stalks, is, is for sure kazais. You don't need four stalks. Four short stalks, maybe, is a kazais. Four short stalks. So you have to be careful with the bugs to wash it off right. Um, that's a, yeah. This, I said, you don't want to be a mitzvah above Avera. The lettuce are known to be infested. Not all infested. You can check it, but uh, it's, it's bodek. But they can, okay, not all bodek is chopped up. But, but it's can, the same way you check it all year long. Yeah. Huh? It's the same way you check it all year long. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. All, yeah. Um, so you make a bracha chulas more. You eat a kazais. By matzah, if you have an elderly person that cannot eat a kazais, they should you can crush it up. You can mix it with water, and they can they can you know this makes it softer, and they can eat it. Uh, that they should try to get the kazais matzah down. That's the rice. The so, is the bottom. The, so if you're having horseradish, that's like a shot glass, like a one ounce. Oh, uh, horse, 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 horse radish, or, 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 or as I said earlier, horse radish. Uh, yeah, an ounce is a kazais. But the child's horse radish or um, or or, or uh, romaine. Romaine lettuce. This is uh, what's the mile of each one? The mile of each one is very posh. The the horse radish, the, the horse radish taste taste. You know, you taste. It, you're crying when you're eating it. Mm. Chazanish held, Chazanish held that uh, the the chazeres that you can be yotze, the the lettuce that you can be yotze has to be uh, when it's when it's still bitter. By the time you get it, it's sweet, but you're supposed to eat it when it's still bitter. It's it's uh, it's uh, if you can get it bitter when it's when it's more um, when it's more before it ripens fully, you can get it when it's bitter. Chazanish holds you're supposed to have the tam. It's Chazanish shita. So according to him, you're not really yotze with the lettuce. Masha the, the 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 lettuce is more of a lechatchilo because it's the first on the list, hazeres, rather than horseradish. A and B horseradish is a root, hazeres is the leaves. It says ain yotzim b'sharoshim. So we hold like this: ain yotzim b'sharoshim means the out of the horseradish you could have roots coming out of it. That you're not yotzim with. You have to be yotzim with the the radish itself. But some place can hold that no, you're not yotzim with that. That's also a root. You're not yotzim. Only part is sticking out of the ground. But my son, Mr. Brewer Paskin's Yotze with that. Chatrila, so you could be Yotze. Uh, so some people mix, you know, to get a little taste and to get the, the, the you know, you don't want to eat a kazais of horseradish. So you could wrap the horseradish. Wrap know. it up. So, Shaz, could you do it? Is there any problem? Because matzah you can't eat with anything else. You know, not the matzah. And moro you can't eat with anything else. So what's the shayla? The shayla's like this. We don't really know what's what. It, are these things really mara? So on, on the side that the the, 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 the romaine lettuce is mara and the horseradish is not mara, so then the horseradish takes away the mitzvah of the ra, of the of the mara, of the chazeres. And on the side that the horseradish is mara and the chazeres is not mara, if you mix it, take it off. 
that's what Shem Zama says, not to mix up the Maisa. Anyways, we hold that they're both more, and if you eat one, we hope you eat this, so therefore uh, a person could mix it. Most people, a person can mix it, take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and eat it together, and, and be eat with that. Some people eat the horseradish straight without grounding it up. It's not the greatest idea. Could be, uh, it's not there chachil, it could be not yitz at all. You should cut it up at least into small pieces. Uh, to, it could be, uh, it's going to be considered there chachil. Otherwise, if you're supposed to eat it, who eats horseradish like that? Chomp, chomp. But if you do grind it up, you shouldn't do it too early because then it loses its taste. You know, you should do it right before the Seder or put it in the plastic and make sure it keeps its uh, sharpness. For like upon you make a bracha on the mar, you eat the mar, and a person shouldn't talk to after he eats the kairach. The chatrila person shouldn't talk to after he eats the kairach, which he puts the matzah and the bar together and he eats it because you want the brachas to go on that. So whatever you talk with soya chasud is not a hefsek. So in other words, you made a chilas matzah and you made a mar, but you talk, you know, past this, get that. That's not a hefsek because it's with soya chasuda. Where is the chorosity? Dip the mar into the chorosis, yeah. You dip the mar in the chorosis. You dip it in the chorosis and then you shake it off. Some hold you shake it all off. You don't have to eat any of the chorosis. Some hold you shake a little bit off. You have a little chorosis left. So this, again, there's a makar for every mahalacha you do it. It's both are brought down mahalacha. But the zeichel is you, you, you dip it in, you don't really have to eat it. You can shake it off, or you can just leave a little bit on. You don't want to have too much haroises on, because that opens the 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 tam of the mar. And the karach? And the karach also, different than hagim. Some people don't dip by the karach, some people do. But you could, if, you, if the minute gets to dip, you could dip it in, and again, the same thing. So if you dip it's in one place, bit. you should dip it in the mar. If you don't, if, between the karach and the mar, if you're going to dip once. Mar. It's the mar. I just think it's getting late. I'm going to have to stop here. But it's um, uh, just uh, interesting. I'll end off with this interesting Shiloh. So, in our, in Maftir, so after Kermit also, you have two Kazaisim. So, you have one Kazais for the Karach, and two Kazaisim for Afi Kermit. One is Zecha for the Karim Pesach, one Kazais, and one Kazais is for the Matzah they eat with the Karim Pesach. Um, if someone can't eat two Kazaisim, you should eat one Kazais. Like I didn't really need one kazais, but uh, you should try to eat two kazaisim. Um, but the same rules apply as for the first matzah? Yeah. yeah. So a third, a third of a machine matzah, a third of a hand matzah is good enough. What about before chatzois after chatzois? So the shells you have to before chatzois. You know, so uh, it became a big mitzvah today that everybody has to finish before chatzois. It's a good idea, anyways. I'm trying to shop out so long. But, um, but, uh, different, you know. It became big, uh, I was very into being Yotze, he was before Chatzos, but the other of other Yotze after Chatzos, if he didn't do it before Chatzos, he didn't make a bracha after Chatzos. Some people on the second Seder are not marked on it at all, and they go after Chatzos by the second Seder. Um, Shail is, you're not allowed to eat after Afikoman. So the, even if you hold, you eat Afikoman before Chatzos, but we don't eat after Chatzos either. You're allowed to have a tea, you're allowed to have uh, a light drink, but we don't eat anything after the Afikoman. The shail is brought down. Let's say you fell asleep and then you wake up and you want to take something to eat. Are you allowed to? So there's a makar to say you're allowed to eat after you sleep because it says that uh, you're supposed to stay up Pesach night and sing shiurs and shabbos. Actually, chatzven roshina. Once you fall asleep, you're part already. <laughs> <laughs> so then there could be there's no chiyuv. It's brought down there's a different place from the chag yakov that a person could, uh, if they sleep, not just rumbles off for a minute, but if he taka falls asleep, then he could eat afterwards. But I'll compound him, if he doesn't fall asleep, he shouldn't eat after the afikaiman to leave the tam matzah. If a person didn't, uh, again, if a person didn't make it before chatzos, he can make all the brachas and he can do it after chatzos. Didn't the Morgan Abraham say that you could eat after chatzos? Like you can eat before chatzos? Well, technically, if you hold the chiyuv before chatzos, you should be allowed to eat afterwards. But the say we don't go like that because we go that nikkuva din the chiyuv is told them aleisa shachar. Once it's aleisa shachar, which I doubt happens to anyone, then for sure uh, you can't be yotzi your chiyuv anymore. So water and tea <coughs> you could have after. Water you could have, tea you could have. It's like without sugar or with sugar. Yeah, with sugar. But. Um, as a the pesach of chasay, and she was